Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Llamascapes. It is day 106 of the speedrun account, and we have been spending most of today working on fishing. Yeah, level 91, it's only one level for the day. Yeah, pretty slow, but I, I decided that this is one of the next skills I want to work on. Uh, you know, kind of want to go between, uh, you know, mining, fishing, hunter, you know, if it's trader an hour, do some mining, if it's uh roar, do some hunter. Uh, yeah, just, just kind of cycle between a few skills, you know, give me some, some variation. So currently the plan is to stay here until at least level 93 at 93, we can go catch some small crystal urchins and unlock the ability to make a crystal, uh, fishing rod that should improve my fishing rates. It, somewhat um it'll improve it at places other than fishing frenzy i believe uh but at 94 we will move on to fishing frenzy and use that as our method going all the way to 99. also at this point we are already getting quite close to having everything banked that we need for 99 cooking so at some point i may decide to toggle on the consume option for the fury shark um i don't expect to be using this food a ton in the future if i'm doing pvm or something so I may as well just go ahead and uh, consume it for some extra fishing XP at the time being, and it's a little more AFK. And we're on to day 107 now. I know it's basically only one clip for yesterday. This is really the part of the game where it becomes a lot harder to make progress clips because a lot of these levels start to get slower. Just picked up 87 fletching. I think I actually picked up 86 earlier today as well. I've uh, been working on making arrow shafts to pair with my headless arrows actually just about finished up uh can make all of these broad arrowheads straight into uh you know broad arrows after combining them with feathers um and i've also been working on magic short bows uh so about five thousand more of those to make and then string up i'm just trying to see how much xp i totally have banked um and it is somewhat hard to estimate um you know i can get pretty close but it's an underestimate ultimately because of the magic carpet buff that gives you, you know, uh, it's an extra few percent um, or an extra few thousand XP per hour ultimately. Uh, and that might just make the difference between like getting to 98 and a half and getting all the way to 99. Um, so I thought I'd just go ahead and burn through all these supplies. Uh, it is something I actually had slated because... Uh, uh, you know, on my upcoming 99s because the daily challenges aren't the greatest. So, uh, yeah, working through all my, uh, fletching supplies. Well, I completely didn't make a clip for yesterday, but today is day 109. Been working on fletching non-stop. So we made the full 9772 magic short bows, uh, collected a few more magic logs since then, and I'll collect some more today after reset. Also, we have about another 155 thousand broad arrowheads to burn through and of course can buy some more after reset so we are getting quite close to uh yeah to 99 i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up these though and throw them in the auto disassembler doing some bgh on the last rex of this hour we picked up an unchecked so that is pretty sick i wonder what farming level i need 112 okay yeah that's that's a long way away on to day 110, working on a bit of BGH while Roar is active. And uh, yeah, we've started to hit the point where we are maxing out our wise buff every single day. Um, I actually got to like 98% or something yesterday and then logged off, you know, went to do some, uh, some exercise or whatever uh, till reset so that I wasn't skilling inefficiently in quotes. Uh, but basically, you know, I'm getting the full, uh, you know, two and a half million a day. Uh, that maxes out our wise buff at just, uh, you know, wise two. Um, if it was wise four, it'd be just one and a quarter million. So, uh, yeah, not not overly useful. You know, I know it is just like 50,000 XP a day, uh, but it really does add up. So I'm going to try to just keep maxing it out, um, you know, maybe work on some slower skilling methods in between. But uh, we've gotten pretty close to 97 fletching, burned through almost all our broad arrowheads so far. Uh yeah, just working on some other various skilling now. All right, another roar triggered. So that means we are back at BGH. And this is a nice uh, nice little hunt to finish because that is level 94 picked up. Uh, 94 being significant because it's the first tier 3 dino unlocked the oculi. So I think um, because I am running out of meat to actually hunt the T2 dinos, uh, this is the last one that I can do. 
Uh, I think I'm going to like start hunting the T3s on roars and then maybe go back and do one more round of each of the T1s. Uh, at some point, just to just to kind of cycle through um, each of the T2 dinos while Roar is active. Um, I'm not sure, but I do want to keep the uh, the gains going while Roar is active, for sure. Nice, picked up yet another Matic on the last hunt of uh, that rotation. Oh, and just for reference, I do have 50-50-50, uh, and then probably like 20 or 30 of each of these uh, for from the T2 dinos all in my bank, so quite a few hunts available for those. On to day 112, spent a lot of yesterday cooking and also just doing stuff, uh, you know, IRL. But I just realized that my cooking hit level 91 and at level 90 I unlocked yet another ports adventure. So I have almost, yeah, almost all of them now. Uh, I am keeping up with this, you know, showing up to my ports fairly regularly. It's just not a, you know, it's not an overly important thing, but it is a timed lock thing for other parts of progression, uh, you know, for an account in general, so it's just something I'm gonna, you know, keep doing. And we're on to day 113. Had some new content released today, which is a mini dig site for archaeology. Not super relevant content, given that it is for, like, level 60s and not level 90s. Uh, it would have sped up the grind in those levels had it been available, but that's okay. Um, just got the first page of the you know mysteries which is fine i'm just gonna get a few artifacts like finish up this one part of the dig site and then uh yeah go on from there um not really planning to finish up archaeology i just have max daily challenges and uh, i do like my daily archaeology challenges so yeah need to restore two artifacts for that and i know that this video has been going pretty slowly so far right it has been over a week since the last upload and I've gotten, what, a few levels? I don't even remember where I started, but look, picked up 98 fletching, uh, closing in on 93 cooking right now, got 91 fishing knocked out, and I know I've been getting some hunter levels, but yeah, yeah, this video feels a little bit slower than the last few, uh, sorry about that, um, though they're, you know, it's just a few things that I've been working on. That, that really take time. It takes a lot of time for stuff to really show. But anyway, there is 93 cooking picked up. And uh, if we head on over to Treyarn real quick, I'll show one other thing I've been working on in the background. So on Treyarn hours, there is a 20% chance to get extra ore whenever you mine in the Treyarn district. Uh, you can use the harmed ore uh, friends chat to find those, uh, to find different uh, Animica spots that spawn randomly. And I've been really stocking up here. So I have a, a bit of Runite that I've gathered, uh, but also 475 light and 966 dark. Um, I think in total I need about 4,000 bars is where I'm going to start, um, you know, because monthlies and daily challenges and stuff like that will get me a little more smithing XP. Uh, the total number I need is 4.6k. So... Yeah, I think around 4K is, is what I'm shooting for. Uh, it's probably when I'll start using this stuff up. But, you know, this is at least like 10 hours of mining between this and the Runite alone. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's, that's a lot of mining there. Uh, I do need to actually go make some more uh, gargoyle binding contracts as I've started to run out of those. Uh, let me see what that stack. Yeah, just three of those left. Um, and given the daily reset just happened, I will go buy some more broad arrowheads and I'm really closing in on that 99 fletching. So hopefully that will happen in a day or two. Oh, and one interesting thing I have noticed though, is that player owned farms is not quite keeping up with me. Uh, if I'm going at the current pace that I am, I will have all of my other skills 99 before farming. Uh, which is kind of wild. So I will have to start doing farm runs, tree runs. I'm going to save my beans to potentially put those into Instagrows. Just Instagrow a bunch of trees. Uh, yeah, so that, that strategy has had to change a little bit. I think part of it is because I, I never got lucky with like yaks from my trapper or dragons potentially, uh, if he can give those. So yeah, I've been having to stick to just, you know, chins, cows, spiders, and uh, frogs on Anachronia. On top of uh, maxing out that wise buff, of course, is trying to work on the things that are sort of time limited where you can skill more efficiently while something else is going on. So Voice of Saren, maximizing those Treyhern hours where possible. Um, I gathered up a bunch more soft clay on Ithil hour to finish up all the rest of the urns that I'll need to make. Um, 
at least a, a fair portion of the urns I'll need to make. Uh, and of course, been doing a ton of BGH, uh, really trying to snipe those roars and focus on like, hey, set aside an hour every single time a roar pops up to go and just grind out BGH, uh, which is the only way I'm like halfway through 95 at this point is, uh, yeah, doing a lot of roar. And as you might have noticed that at this point, we are on to the catfish. We've actually done all of the desert souls that I had in the bank, which is uh, an enormous stack when you consider the free bits that you get from the sous chef outfit, a stack of 16k. <laughs> so uh, if I do pose 99 Slayer, that's that's going to last a long time, like a like a long, long time. On to day 114, and just as we are talking about my farming troubles, we pick up a green dragon egg. That's that's pretty great, actually. Uh, yeah, if, if we end up uh, really locked behind Max because of uh, because of farming XP, I can always just go farm some uh, some dragon eggs and hopefully get another one. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep sending the trapper off. That is incredible. Let's see. It is a male hyperactive green dragon that that is pretty sick and if you guys were wondering what i do with all of the extra animals well i basically just have spots for them so you know six four two twelve four five two yeah just a ton of trapper misses that are gonna add up over time sitting here in the bank well would you look at that we got another unchecked arcane apoterosaur on uh yeah our most recent return to this so that's actually a breeding pair if they happen to end up with different uh genders i was unable to or because of my farming label i'm unable to uh yeah actually check these but oh they're actually only level 98 that might be a decent source of xp as well okay uh well good to know let's let's hope they are in fact different well, it's time to add even more bows to the disassembler. So let's see what this pouch has. Wow. Almost 16,000 tensile parts. That is, uh, that is freaking sick. Whoa. A, th <laughs> a thousand dexterous. That is insane. 1500. I'm literally never going to run out of 1500 precise and a thousand dexterous. It's just wild. Uh, is there anything in here? All right, another two mil. Boom, toss that in. Uh, I do want to charge this up and uh, yeah, pick up even more planks. We're getting pretty close to having all the planks we needed banked. Actually, 4,600 might might be enough at this point. Yeah, that brings our stack up to uh, 9444. So given that they give about 1,000 XP per plank whenever you use them during contracts, that is pretty close to the uh, about 10 million that we need. Uh, so I might burn those, uh, burn through those pretty soon. And there's our weekly tiers of Guthix done for level 82 runecrafting. But we also have one more thing to turn in here. And of course, uh, Windows decides to kill my audio on this. So Future Llama had to voice over it and dub it. But there we have it, 99 divination done. I got sick of doing cash, so so I just had to finish it up this way. And here we have it, the beautiful cape number 12 of the account, I guess 13 if you count the quest cape, with the purple looks and the blue trim. It is gorgeous fashionscape. Changed my mind about holding on to all of that ore and decided to smelt up the bars that I had, and we ended up with exactly 768, which is what we need for two full burial sets. Well, I made those two full sets, got up to 92 smithing, and there, oh, is a nice dragon matic to round out 95 hunter. And like one hunt later, we pick up a, another apoterosaur, uh, unchecked. I don't know what level I need for this one, 115. That is, uh, that's a lot. All right, well, I'm not sure if this is going to do it, but maybe... Yeah, yeah, it will. There is 99 fletching done. Two more 99s down today. Uh, yeah, that's one that, of course, we've seen coming. It's just uh, been a matter of waiting for more broad arrowheads to be available. And the final stack is 581,250 broad arrows uh, at a cost of, what, 50 GP each? That is, that is over 29 million gold. 
So, uh, yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, yes, it is time to talk about daily challenges again. Uh, toggle max challenges. Let's get Div and Fleshing off of there. And an NPC and almost no one ever talks to Hickton. Can you sell me a Fletching skill cape? Yes, I have the money right here. And that there brings our total up to 13. Yeah. We're, uh, we're making pretty good progress. And I think this is actually where I'm going to end off the video. Uh, it's been about 10 days since I uploaded, right? Um, so yeah, it's time to churn something out, throw all these clips together and get them out there. Uh, that also put us at 2670 total. So just about 107 levels, I think it is, until we are maxed. That's fast approaching. So with that being said, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next one.